Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Kicknology. It is your boy Troop, and today I got a twofer, twofer video for you guys, man. Today we had the official release and the official sneakers drop of the Air Jordan 4 Black Canvas. And these things five, bro. These things five. Today we will be talking about these things, unboxing, reviewing. I'm gonna give you a comparison of the GS pair compared to the men's pair. You know what I'm saying? The adult sizes. So, hey, without further ado, let's get right up into it. Let go. No synthetic. If they ready, we'll let you know if you should go and get them. We got fat, we got two. Never slack on the proof for OGs and the you. You can kick it with us too. Technology. All right, so here we have the Air Jordan Four. Black canvas, adult pair, in grade school. Gonna give you a quick comparison and quick review on both of these. But, but before we get up into this, man, if you guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there, man. Turn on the notification bell. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers. Keep, keep pumping out this content for you guys. I appreciate you guys tapping in to watching the videos. So let's go ahead and do what we always do. Let's start with the boxes. Here we have the grade school pair. We have the Jumpman logo with the flight right there. Like a typical Air Jordan 4 box. You have a spickle spack on the side. And it reads right here, Air Jordan 4 Retro SE. In black, light, steel, gray, and white. This is four and a half wide. As we open up this box, really nothing but that spickle spackle paper on the end there. And then as we look at the adult size box. So as you guys can see right here. You see that the flight is written differently on the adult pair. And we don't have that Jumpman logo as big as the OG. So they did go a little bit different with this one. So as you guys see right here, we have the flight, the red Jumpman, no white flight. We have the paper on the inside. And then this one reads the same thing. This, is, this one is a man's size 8. Now, the boxes are out of the way. Let's talk about these shoes. All right, so before we compare these things to the grade school, and I'll show you the grade school size, let's go ahead and look at the adult size. This is this sneaker is dope. You know, at first I was thinking like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But seeing in hand, it's an all black Jordan 4. Now that canvas material, as you guys can see right here, it, it looks like a denim, to be honest with you. Then we have like this rough suede right here um, that goes along the toe box. Kind of remind me of like a winterized type sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Look like it's gonna be extremely durable. But as you guys can see right here. We have that canvas material that a lot of people was not feeling. But I think when they see these shoes in hand, they're going to actually like it. We have the hints of that light steel uh, gray right here. And then we have the gray jump man with the red flight on the tongue. On the back of the booty of these things, we do have that gray jump man right there. Along with that canvas material going around. Like I said, it do look like a pair of jeans as you guys can see right here. And then on the bottom, we do have just your standard for it with the red jumpman logo these shoes really 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 remind me of the bread fours but just the material ain't there you know what i'm saying and it's a little bit off as far as the color pattern goes but it's one of those sneakers that i feel like that is just the colorway that's gonna gain some value so as you guys can see right here no other laces with them just the overall clean shoe aesthetically now when we take a look at this one and we look at the grade school i'm gonna put them right here beside each other Sometimes when you get the grade school and you get the adult pair, they kind of differ. But as we look at this grade school up close and personal right here, the only thing I will say on the grade school, it looks like they have a little bit more quality control issues when it comes to the glue. That's going to be the only thing I'm going to say. But, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. But all in all, as you guys can see, just a really clean, well put together sneaker. You're going to be able to rock this shoe with pretty much anything. And if you do not have the bread Jordan 4s, this will do you good if you don't want to spend that bread for that one. You feel what I'm saying? So, I just feel like they gave us a, a great colorway. Change the materials on it. If you was able to get your hands on it, resell. I think this shoe will be just like all, a lot of other fours that dropped this year they're gonna be right around at 300 dollar mark um and there's just nothing we can do about that because fours are like the new 12s man it's it's the sneaker that everybody want but you guys let me know down in the comment section where you feeling these things we were able to get them i know they, they did push them back to october 5th so i know that we finally had the official sneakers release for these things and i've seen a lot of people say they got they got them i don't know the official stock numbers but y'all let me know down below how are you feeling about these things if you add these to your collection go ahead and turn this camera around and we're gonna close out this video so again i appreciate you guys tapping in as always what are your thoughts let me know down below make sure you guys tap into the ig but you know i got a size 11 available if you are interested in these things but i do feel like this shoe is a very good sneaker to have and like i said the fours that's it's what the streets want right now but i appreciate you guys rock what you like now what's hype wash them hands man and remember these shoes behind me 
Both of these, all these, both these, you know, all these right here, they just bait. No way for me to share my faith. I'm gonna catch y'all next video. Peace.